Yo, uh, my name is Jack, and I want to show you guys a little Lightning Network wallet I've been working on that I call Zap. Uh, so I have some Lightning Network nodes running in my house, and we're just going to walk through how to connect to a peer, open a channel, and then we'll send and request uh, some payments. So first, uh, we're going to go over to the wallet section of the application, and you can see I'm already connected. I have a peer and, and a channel open. Um, so we're going to pull up uh, one of the peers uh, that's running my house and we're going to connect to it. So I can just click connect to a peer. Uh, I'm going to grab the public key that we need right here and then the host of the peer is 192.168.2.6. I can just click submit and then voila uh, we can see that that peer is now connected to my lightning wallet in my node and uh, now I can feel free to open a channel with that peer. So I can go and click uh, I can see my connected peers here. I can just click that peer. I can click the local amount, 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Let's do, and we'll push 0 0.0001. Um, and I can just click submit, and then we see that my channels list updated with a uh, pending channel. Uh, this is actually running all on Bitcoin's testnet, and if we click this, uh, it'll take us to the transaction that we're waiting to be confirmed and mined into a block for this channel to be open. All right, so I am back because it looks like our transaction was mined. So we can see here that our channel status is now open, and we are free to request and make payments with our Lightning channel. So uh, if you look in the top left here, we can see our channel balance and our wallet balance. Right now it's uh, displayed in Bitcoin, but we can actually hover over this dollar and, and click it, and we can view the entire application in U.S. dollar at the current exchange rate. So you can see... Uh, these channels here have a capacity of about $3.35, or we can go back to Bitcoin, and they have 0 .001 capacity of Bitcoin. Uh, so let's go to this activity page where we can view our payments and our payment requests, So just by tabbing over here. Uh, we can actually click on any of these and view them in detail. So here was my Segwit Celebratory Champagne Glass with Roger. Um, and this is the payment request in text form and this is a payment request in QR code so I can send this payment request to anyone over the lightning network and invoice them for a payment so let's create our own payment request I can click request here and we'll do 0 0.000001 for a micro payment we can request and here it is and we can either filter down and search for these as well um, so that's pretty cool. And then lastly, I would like to show you guys how we can pay someone via a payment request. So I have a node up running in my house, and I've created a payment request for 100 Satoshis. And I can copy that payment request and hit pay and just paste it in. You can see that it loads the amount that I'm about to pay, and I can just click pay and head over to my payments, and boom, there it is. I can click in detail this payment transacted instantly with zero fees over the Lightning Network running on Bitcoin's testnet. Not vaporware. Uh, this is real. Uh, I understand that this may be technical to some, but this is just the MVP, the minimal viable product, uh, and I'm just getting started. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am.